are in the middle of the Hockamock Swamp. Whoever is here in Hockamock Swamp, the three of us would like to have a conversation with you. Many people believe is haunted. Yeah, if you're from that area, you've probably heard of it, the Bridgewater Triangle. The Bridgewater Triangle. You ever heard of the Bridgewater Triangle? We may never know the answer to it. It could be hundreds of years back, thousands of years back, we don't know. But there is something that draws these stories out. Native Americans named that area of the triangle where we were Hockamock Swamp, and that means where spirits lie. Colonists back in the day used to call it Devil Swamp. Camera! Camera fell! No, no, no! I can't, no, I can't, no, I, no, I don't no, know what to do. Here, hold it, hold it. What the f***? I believe I'm really here. Holy shit! You're this fight, it's not your own! There it is again! I just saw it! What the f*** is going on right now? We might actually see a skinwalker tonight. Okay, so right now we are on our way to exploring with Josh's house so that we can get some information about the Hockamock Swamp. He's gone there a couple of times and he has so much information about this place and we don't wanna just go there blind and not know at all what we are dealing with. There's all kinds of different creatures that is known to be there. So we're gonna go to Josh's, get some more information so that we have an idea on what we are up against. Look at this cat. Hi. <laughs> Can I pet the cat? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, kitty. Where's your nose? It's gone. It's missing. What are you? <laughs> Whoa, you look like a fuzzy owl. Yeah. You look like a fuzzy owl. The cat's always sneezing and <laughs> because it has no nose. That's the problem. Don't mind Josh's mess. He's been traveling. He just yeah, got I back just, home. I just came back. I don't care. It, it is what it is. We out here, so. So, Josh, give us like a, you know, the lowdown of what. Of what you know, guys are. Yeah. Place. Like, what did you deal with? And like, what were you going there for? So, when I first went there, I was going there because of there's some like sort of creature in the forest called a puck wedgie. The puck wedgie is about like three feet tall. It looks almost apparently like a goblin creature, but also has fur like a, like a monkey. Also, it can shape shift into an orb of light. And that's what I've seen in the forest before. I've been here like 10 times. Times, guys. Wait, you saw that in the forest? I saw it in the forest more no way. than once, three times. So I know it's not like I'm going crazy. This shape-shifting orb of light thing, it wasn't like, oh, there's a guy with like far away. The only thing it could have been maybe was a guy with a lantern because it was floating. But when it's floating, bro, it was like, I mean, like literally like floating. And dude, it was coming towards us all the way out of the forest when I was with my friends. And I was like, dude, there's no way that was a person. It was two in the morning, by the way. Why is someone else gonna be in that forest except unless it was a cult person, which we'll get into. Hang on, I gotta let the cat out. <laughs> <laughs> After you worry about the puck wedges in the forest and the shapeshifters, there's portals and they were seeing different creatures and stuff here. So what, what about like skinwalkers and stuff? Exactly. So before I met you guys, I had no idea what skinwalkers were or shapeshifters. And then now everything was starting to really make sense. So I was like, wait a minute. So now I really think there's skinwalkers in this forest and that's what people are getting confused with. Also the puck wedges is another thing that I personally believe in. And maybe that kind of can tie in with skinwalkers, but I don't know. You also have to worry about the cult people that live there because there's, there's a whole bunch of call people in the forest. The locals will literally tell you there's something crazy in the forest. Don't go in there. Any local you see will tell you that. So it is scary. This place is no joke. You have to worry about cult people, ghosts, skinwalkers, puck wedgies. Apparently Mothman's in there, Bigfoot. So this is, in my opinion, honestly, this is the most haunted forest in the whole US. Dude. Uh, what do we do, boys? It's gonna be just <laughs> us. It's like a portal for everything that we know about. Everything, literally everything. Tonight on Monster Hunters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly, Mon <laughs> you're monster hunting, ghost hunting, and whatever. Well, you gotta go in there with the biggest open mind because you're gonna hear stuff and maybe see stuff that you'll never experience or see before. Like when I seen the orb of light, not once, not twice, but three times, one of the times, it just literally will chase you. Dude. If you guys see it, stay. That's scary. On the news, three guys go missing. <laughs> Evaporated by a giant ball of light. I mean, you guys got it. You guys honestly got that. I'm really curious to see what you guys get there because like I said, I got so much good stuff. You guys are gonna get a lot of good stuff. If we go missing, you're the only one that's gonna know where For we real? might that's, be. I, I'm gonna find your footage and make a found footage documentary on you guys with the footage. Yeah, I respect that, I yeah. respect that. There's one other thing. The place is actually bigger than this. It's called the Bridgewater Triangle. So if you go on the map, it connects with three different spots. You guys are doing one out of the three hot spots. So if you guys get a lot of stuff here, you guys have to come Come back for the two other locations with her in the Bridgewater Triangle. Think of the Bermuda Triangle, but this one. I feel like this place is so big that we can completely do a full show. It's almost like Skinwalker Ranch. It is. You guys got on your side, you got all the Skinwalker stuff. I got this here. Like we have like equal stuff just split apart. Now we're in your neck of the woods. Yep, yep. Really yes. good luck. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we are on the road, and we are three minutes away from the Hockamock Swamp. I am so f scared to go into this sketchy giant swamp. In general, like after what Josh had told us, the place seems really up. We have no idea where we're going at all. The odds are quite slim for us, so I mean, it, you know, what do we do? Also, a huge thank you to Josh because if it weren't for him explaining where we need to go, what we need to do, what we need to look out for, then I don't think we'd be able to even get this video done. So that was awesome. Thank you, Josh. We appreciate it. The cool thing is, one of the devices that we brought, it depends on if it is raining or not, but we have a thermal imaging camera that is built into our drone. So when we are doing these skinwalker locations now, we are going to be throwing that drone up if it is possible and we will see if we can spot anything because that's always good to know with all that being said we are pulling up we're gonna get out of the car and make this hike as you guys already know we are headed to the infamous hockamock swamp this place is part of one of the most strangest places in the world the bridgewater triangle probably heard of it, the Bridgewater Triangle. I've heard a lot of people say that they've taken pictures and like orbs have come out in the pictures. We got the nip, so Bigfoot might not be out of the question. They found his body stretched out on the bay, but he was dead. Ah! 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 During the 17th century, the Hockamock Swamp was used as a fortress by a Native American tribe called the Wampanoag. They had used it as a strategic base of operations to launch assaults upon nearby English settlements. By the end of it all, thousands of people would lose their lives and the Native Americans had lost the war falling under English rule. But this war is not the only thing that makes Hockamock Swamp important. For centuries, it was used by the Native Americans as a sacred burial ground. The Native Americans would name this swamp Hockamock because of its meaning, a place where spirits dwell. And even the English had a nickname for this place as well, but they would call it the Devil's Swamp. Satanic ritual. Police say a local teen performed one and then attacked a security guard. When the teen walked into the woods, he says that he was looking for a pentagram. The teen told the guard they had been taking part in, quote, satanic rituals. They were cannibals. They set traps in the pathways. They said the best part to eat were the thighs. For centuries, this place has been known to be a portal for almost everything supernatural. Not only are there spirits here, there's been sightings of Bigfoot, aliens, even Mothman. But for now, we're only here for two creatures. The Native American entities known as a Pukwudgie and a Skinwalker. If it wants you to find out, this thing just keeps morphing and changing into new shapes and forms, sometimes in front of the camera, but you wouldn't see them. Skinwalker is a shapeshifter. There's a huge debate whether or not these two creatures are the same thing, but no one really knows for sure. Pukwudgies are known to be a smaller creature that can manifest itself into a ball of energy or an orb, whereas skinwalkers have the ability to shapeshift into whatever animal they please, mainly owls or coyotes. The only way we're gonna find out the truth is if we make our way to this legendary and stupidly dangerous swamp to try and capture one of these things on camera, or in a tiny little metal cage and bring it home. But before we do jump in this episode, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel and you keep finding yourselves coming back, please, for the cat, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you guys do want us to do somewhat of a small series at the Bridgewater Triangle, please hit the like button. Let us know in the comments that that is what you want because guys, we can go alien hunting, we can go Bigfoot hunting, we can go ghost hunting, oh, we already go ghost hunting. Regardless of all that, we hope you enjoy this very terrifying episode. Okay, guys, we are here at Hockamock Swamp! We're toast. It's scary out here. We're literally about to go into the forest where we may actually die. You think? I hope not. I'm not very happy that we're going into the swamp because apparently there's a lot of up 
<laughs> that happens in there. They got ghosts, missing people, people getting lost and dying, skeletons, satanic occult activity, murders, skinwalkers, something called a puck wudgie. It's like a hairy monkey, baby. <laughs> That. <laughs> what? Yeah, it dude. Sounds like a hairy monkey baby. <laughs> We're not doing a video anymore. We're just gonna kick River into the forest with the puck and puck and wedgies. Puck and nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken nuggets with, with the, the puck, puck nuggets. nuggets. Whatever. I mean, honestly, there probably could be chicken nuggets in that forest. You never know. Well, boys. <laughs> enough with the chitta chatta and the skitta scatta and the pitta patta. Let's put our hands together. Let's get at her. On the count of three. One. Two, three, skinwalkers, puck wedgies, chicken nuggies. I'm Let's so go, boys. First try. That means tonight is going to be a bang, bang, a skeet, skeet. Let's get it. Yeah. All right, guys. We are here at the spot where I guess we're going to start this investigation. Bear with us. It is windy, rainy, and we are in the middle of the Hockamock Swamp. So... We're gonna have to kind of wait the wind out from time to time, but let's get this investigation started. To the monsters, the creatures, the spirits, whoever is here in Hockamock Swamp, the three of us would like to have a conversation with you. We are looking for a creature that is called a skinwalker. We have been doing research about who they are and what they are, and we just want to learn some information about them. So if there is a skinwalker around us, or any other spirit, again, please, have a conversation with us. Come join us. We have these devices that'll give us the ability to see you with energy. And we also have a couple of devices that'll give you the ability to use one word or a whole sentence. But before we do ask a couple of questions, we are going to go ahead and introduce the three of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. And my name is River. Now, like I said, please, if you can give us some information, there were two boys that had gotten lost here in this forest, in this swamp, and we just want to have a conversation with them as well to see if they need help getting out of this swamp, if they are still lost. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is bring out a device. Dude, I, I feel like those kids got chased to a different area. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Just something about it just seems so weird. Enough to get lost and die. Just so. Did you hear that? If we don't make it out of this forest, boys. I just want to reiterate real quickly too. Like everyone's probably heard already, but it's literally common for people when they come out here at night to see whatever they call puck wedgies, giant balls of light that float towards you. They literally try and come near you. Ghosts, weird creatures. Oh. What? What the? F so much so that authorities try to convince people not to come here at nighttime. So we're all a little on edge. Can you leave that alone for a while? <laughs> Have you seen one of those before? Do you think what I just heard, it sounded like there was like footsteps and then growling right after the footsteps. Do you think what I just heard passed and went right there? They stopped. stopped. It stopped. None of these things that we brought will hurt you in any way. They just show us that you're around. You can touch them and mess with them all you want. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Hello? Give us a sign. They're in the trees. <laughs> They're in the trees. <laughs> Puck wedgies do? Yeah. yeah don't skinwalkers do that too? I don't know, bro. Like, well, that's, that's the thing. Like, no one really understands. Other than a skinwalker can transform into different things. They're shapeshifters. That could be what these Puck wedgies even are. Yeah. If you think about it. This device right here that I'm holding in my hand, if you see me, this is going to give you that ability to use your word. So please come and speak into this device and talk to us. Show us that you're here, please. Ooh. That stopped. Yeah. We have two devices here. Ryan, my brother, has one. I have one as well. We just want to know why you're here or if it's real. If you are actually a shapeshifter, skinwalker, puck wedgie. Dude, it's a f***ing storm right now, bro. Mm -hmm. We've never done anything like... Ooh. Between! Dude, did you f just hear that? The device just said between. What the f was that? They're between us? I just heard a voice, like an actual voice. 
Please let go. Effort. Effort. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Is there a skinwalker? Strangled. We see you. We, we see you. you. Whoa, why did it sound like that? I don't know. We see you, bro. My arms. This is getting weird. Yo, it just said between. What if they're up there right now and they can see us? We keep hearing that too. Yeah. Is that where you are? There's gotta be different kinds of skinwalkers. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. yeah. Diff there's different kinds of frogs, different kinds of cats, different kinds of dogs. No spirit. No spirit. No spirit. So so it's a monster! Dude. What the f That's so weird though, because like aren't skinwalkers spirits though? It's like either or. Yeah, they're they're like a creature. I yeah. thought there's something that's weird. They're like black magic, dude. Is there a skinwalker in these woods? At this swamp? We've heard so many stories about puck wedgies and skinwalkers, spirits. Can somebody please give us an answer? I apologize, I'm yelling because it's so windy outside, it's a storm. And we decided to come out here, put ourselves in danger just to wait and see. Wait and see. Uh, I have a puck in my shirt. I will try. I will try. I will try to communicate with us. Yeah, you were just asking if there's skinwalkers out here. Give us information. Just wait and see, I'll try. I really hope this wind's not the audio up, but Dude, they're gonna they're gonna see that we are literally risking our lives in the middle of a swamp slash forest where there are a lot of people die because they get lost. And we are in a storm right now. As I was saying, we came all this way. We are here in a storm and we are just risking our lives just to have a conversation with you. Why all of a sudden did it get so stormy? I know, that's what I'm saying. This is weird. I don't know. We've been here for like 30 minutes trying to set up, trying to get everything together. And now out of nowhere, it's just, it's a huge storm. <gasps> camera, camera fell. No, 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 it's in the water. I can't, I can't, I, I don't go, know what to do. Go. Here, go get it, go get it. It's in the water. I can't see. Does anybody have a flashlight? I have to hide my phone. Go, go, go. It's toast. Dead, dead. It's toast. It's toasted? Yeah. <laughs> no way. First camera down. Took a dunk. Oh. This is our first time ever losing equipment. And the investigation continues. It sucks, but it is what it is. We didn't think we were going to be in a storm. We have to go home tomorrow, so we can't just stop this. We can't cancel it. You can't make us quit. <laughs> so you said that you can see us. What does that mean exactly? Are you here right now? Can you maybe show yourself? Leave me alone! What? That device just said Did you hear that? Yeah, what the is that? That was crazy loud. That was like something exploded. It wasn't supposed to be this crazy, man. No, not at all. You know what's crazy though, too? Say it. Following. Following. They literally compare this place to like the Bermuda Triangle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Think about the weird going on. Just like when you go out there, it just gets buck wild. People quit, they give up, or they get lost in there and freaking die. Why the f are we doing this right now? <laughs> Stop you. Stop, Stop you. you. Did you hear that? I did. That was super loud too. Is there somebody in the tree? What about that ball of light that everyone sees in here? Can you share that with us? There's a bunch of stories about people coming in here and seeing a giant ball of light and no one sticks around. If you show us, we will stick around. We won't run. We promise. We just want to see what you are. That's what I was hearing earlier, bro. I thought it sounded like a monkey. That might have been whistling. <laughs> oh, no. Did you just whistle? Do you know about the two boys that got lost in these woods? I know it. Ooh, I know it. It legit just said, I know it. What happened to them? How did they get lost? Who's you to will. say? You will. I just asked about the ball of light. Probably. Probably. <laughs> what the f No, that's Ooh. freaky. I knocked. I knocked. I just heard a loud bang. They're known to knock on trees. Dude, this is starting to feel weird. This is starting to feel not good. Seriously, like, what better time to take you some- You do not believe. You do not believe. What? Really what the f 
not believe I'm really here. Holy sh! Show us. I have a message for you. What the? I have a message for you. What's the message? What the? Can you give us that message? Dude, this is dangerous. Whatever we're doing right now. I will now, stay. I will stay. Break. Break. I will stay. Break. Can you tell us what's in this forest, please? Through this device right here in River's hand, can you tell us? Are we in the right place to find a skinwalker? We Give us... Yeah. Haunt them. Haunt them. Haunt them. Where was that? Dude, it's getting closer. Yeah, something's going on, man. Can you answer my brother's question? There was a curse that was put over this land. Apparently, there's a skinwalker. Or maybe even several. We just want to know if we're in the right spot, if we're in the right area. You can trust us. You can trust us. That's something a skinwalker or a puck wedgie would say. Yeah. Is there a specific direction you'd like us to go? Should we continue down the pathway? Or should we go back the other direction? Show me. Show me. Show me. This way? Or that way? I'd like to come here. I like to come here. We'll stay here then. What the? F do you think Enjoy. About it? Enjoy. Enjoy. I like to come here. Enjoy. There's like running water right here, dude. Yeah, definitely a good source of energy. I don't know if you can, but can somebody say Skinwalker in that device right there? Is that possible? We would use a bunch of our other devices. We just don't know if the weather is going to kind of contaminate the evidence of using them. So right now, we're just using the ones where they can use their words and our cameras. Lost. Lost. Oh, those kids. Those kids. Guys. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Stop them. Stop, Stop them. them. Right there. I don't know if they were talking about those kids right there. It said lost. Stop them. I think they're talking about us. We need proof that you are here. Can you please do that for us? I'm sure there's many ways. Forward. 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 It just said forward. Continue forward. Yeah. Stop. That. Walk. No, it said walk forward. Walk forward. It said, oh, it said walk should we forward. continue forward or should we go back the other direction where we came? That's weird. Walk left. Walk what? left. It just said walk left. Walk forward, walk left. That seems a little sketchy. Like Begin. Begin. Begin, Begin walking. Okay, do you think our safe? I don't know, man. I think this, it's it's a pretty straight shot, so I think we'll be okay. Like, we'll be able to see the... Hiding. 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 This is crazy. Okay, we're gonna go then. Following. Following! What the f is going on right now? We're doing what you asked. Now, can you prove to us that you're actually out here? That all the... Correct. Correct! Correct. <laughs> It's getting a little weird, boys. We want to make sure that all these stories that are told are true. We're gonna die. We are. We might. In the dark. In, In the, the dark. dark. You good? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it hit me in the face, though. Another one! Quiet! Someone's watching! Got it. Do not go! Don't Dude. go! We're getting attacked right now. Dude, but it's like everything in this forest is trying to stop us legit. Right? Whoa, that's we get weird. here and the weather is not bad at all. Hello? Are we where you want us to be? Or should we go further? Absolutely. Absolutely. Dude, this is getting a little scary. Hello? Are you a skinwalker? You said you're following. Close portal. Close portal? <gasps> no. That's what Josh was saying. It's like a huge portal for all kinds of different entities. It says close portal. There's a portal that we're close. Oh my God. Is that why they wanted us to go down this way? Dude, that's insane, bro. Nightmare. Nightmare. What the f are we doing? I don't know if anyone believes in this, but I, I watch Missing 411, and some of the theories are people are walking through, through the forest, and out of nowhere you walk through a portal. I would hate for one of my crew members to go missing. So we're just crew members? Too? I was just gonna say. We're 
family, man. We're in all seriousness. I know what you're saying. I, in all, I watched it too. What the f was that? Did you hear that? We are watching you. We are watching you. We're, we're getting a said. lot of talking about something, watching us, following. We we're watching you. But that's what Josh said. Is that like they saw this thing and they started walking away, trying to get away from it. They just didn't want to see that ball of light. Yo, wait. What is that ball of light? Is the portal? It moves. Oh. That's why people don't stay. Who's watching us? We can't see you. Will you give us the ability, or will you manifest enough energy to show us? Bad Jesus. entities here. We just want to know. A few. Who's watching? A few? Maybe. Turn right. Turn right again. We gotta continue. We're doing what you're telling us. The least you could do is show us. Guys? Yeah. What if it's the two kids that got lost? What if they're telling us where to go? Like where they are? That or where the portal is right now? Did they ever find those kids? I'm pretty positive. He's over there. He's over there. That's what that just said? Yes. Yeah. It just said, yeah. It said he's over there. Who's over there? What we're looking for, obviously. We're looking for a skinwalker. I think these spirits or whatever it is is trying to direct us to the skinwalker. We're here. Skinwalker. Do you protect this forest? This swamp? What the f was that? Is it okay that we're here? Oh. That was huge. Massive. That sounded like a rock. Yeah. You can tell us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Something's right in there, man. Need to speak. Need to speak. Guys, that was a double knock. That was like. Can you do that again? We heard that double knock. We want to go. We won't go. We won't go. That's because it's your land. Am I correct? There was a huge battle that the Native Americans fought here. Do you remember that? Was that the knock again? Mm -hmm. Yep. Or something not. being thrown? What the f Knock three times. That was it. That's right there. One, two, three. We're gonna walk back to where we were. We like that spot better. Maybe you can enjoy a conversation with us over there. Let's go. This is crazy, man. Yeah. It just said tap. Don't provoke me. Don't provoke me. We're not trying to provoke anybody. We're just trying to talk. This is demon. demon. Just said demon? It legit just said demon. Some people think that skinwalkers are like demons of that culture. It makes sense almost at the same time though because of how much ridiculous <laughs> does actually happen here. True. Like the cultists that freaking well, chased off Josh. If it's a portal for lots of different things, who's to say that a demon couldn't come through that portal at any time? Right. We're back here. If you want to talk, if anybody wants to talk, please come to us. We're starting to feel a little unsafe out here. Is there a reason for that? Help me speak. Help you speak. We're trying. This device right here in River's hand. That's how you can talk. What the f was that? I don't know. That was really loud. I'm not feeling good, man. I'm hearing things now. Seriously. What's your name? Who's speaking to us? We hear you. Killer. 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 Whoa. What the f***? That legit just said killer. Are we in danger here? Should we not be in here? The forest? Did you just say something? That was a voice. That was a, that was a human voice. Did you just say something? That's f 
terrifying man. I feel like I'm here now too. Why are people seeing what looks like a creature that's described in detail just like a skinwalker? Why is that? If we're not gonna have a conversation with you, then we'll be making our way back out of here. Guys, the weather is starting to get worse and worse. As you guys saw, it knocked down our camera and our camera fell down into this stream here. Filming in this weather is starting to become kind of an issue. So far, we've gotten some great stuff, but I have seen a couple of other people do an investigation where they sit in their car and see if they can catch anything. So we are thinking of giving that a try just in case if this does not work out. The weather said nothing about this happening tonight. We also feel kind of like we're in danger. I don't know if it has to do with the weather or just this swamp. Just letting you guys know what's going on because I fear kind of for our safety a little bit here. I was just pointing over here. Look, did you see it? Uh oh. There's an orange light straight above the bushes that keeps flashing. Do you see it back there? No. Is that you over there? Look on top. Look on, Look top. on top. What? Up the trees. I don't know. Maybe Ryan's right though. It is kind of dangerous out here. If it does get too windy or anything, some of these trees may fall down. We don't know how alive they are, they're dead or not. Maybe we should make our way to the car. The weather's making it hard for us to interact with you, so it sounds like we're gonna make our way back. If you want, you can follow us. You can't follow us home, but we still would like to try and get you to spill the beans on what's really going on here. Guys. Dude, it's getting crazy out here, bro. I don't want one of these trees to fall on us, man. That's the problem, man. It's getting bad. It's getting really bad. We have to go. Okay, follow us. Okay. I will cross. I will cross. I will cross. What does that Good mean? And Good and evil here. The portal. Cross the portal, huh? You fail. You fail. You fail. It just said you fail. Crazy. All right, we're gonna make our way back to the car, continue the investigation from there. If at any point in time. Guys, I just saw some, I, I think I just saw a puck wedgie. I, I just saw a orb. Do you hear it? Yeah. I just saw something shoot by. There it is again. I just saw it. No, you didn't. Yes, I swear. Film that, film that. What the actual f It was an orange ball like this big. That's what I can't. And I went, Phew. I kept seeing it blink right here. Unless if that's a giant bug that glows, bro. That thing was at least this big, like a tennis ball size. We need to make our way back to the car. It is getting dangerous. This is not smart. So, let's go. Where are the two paths? The two paths. What? Look. I don't know if you could see this, but we are in the middle of packing up right now and it says, I will be here, where are the two paths? There's two paths that come right here. This is how we got here. We took a path and the path goes left and also goes right. So right where we started coming in here, that's what they said, that's where they're gonna be waiting for us. So we're gonna be making our way back there. We're gonna film this whole walk. If nothing happens, nothing happens. We didn't put it in. If something happens, you'll see. We want to apologize to you guys because we really had no idea that this was going to happen to us tonight. But unfortunately, it happens. So, let's go. You guys notice right as we left the wind stopped? Dude, our luck, man. Something's I don't know. Go need a triangle, dude. I'm telling you, man. It's almost like it's kind of fate. It wasn't supposed to be this windy. Maybe something's like, yo, this is way too dangerous, I'm gonna make it impossible for them to film so that they have to leave, so that whatever would happen is not gonna happen. Does that sound weird? It does. We just don't know. Definitely. Definitely. Somebody just agreed with you. That might be like one of the people that ended up walking in here themselves. Is there anybody? Magic. Magic. No. Yo, what? magic. I literally said that earlier. Talking about skinwalkers or the portal, the whole place is like some black magic That's true. I almost ate a bug. Is there anybody following us? We're making our way out of here. You have a chance to show us what you look like. And you have a chance to speak with us. You don't want us to leave, you have to say something. Something that'll make us want to stay. 
I will stay with you forever. What the? F I will stay with you forever. You will go. No way, bro. What the? F that's three different sections. Whoa, that's intense, bro. How are you gonna do that? You cannot attach yourself to any of us. You know, we could film with that camera too. You have a free hand? Yeah. The two good ones are in my boat backpack. Okay. So, yeah, they're ready to go too. I'm just saying, since we might be able to use this. Look by the exit. Look Whoa. by the exit! Where are the pads? The two the pads. pads! Look by the exit! Oh my god, dude. We're gonna f die. I think we're making the right decision. Some progress here. Seriously. Mapping again, mapping I'm again. With you. I'm, I'm with, with you! you. I'm with you! Dude, what? I think we're actually doing the right thing. We're making our way back out, and that's where they're telling us that they are. What if something really does follow us this time? Wouldn't be the first. Seriously. What's at the end? What are we gonna see? Are we finally gonna see a skinwalker? Or maybe an orb of light? Is that where you're gonna show us? Oh, also, yeah. So don't that's... stay here. Don't, don't stay here. here. Don't stay here. And it's still not. What was that? No Wait. Wait. Did you just hear those? You heard the. Yeah. We're literally walking right towards it. This might be it, dude. We might actually see a skinwalker. You believe? You believe? We might actually see a skinwalker tonight. I swear it, dude, we might actually see one. Probably. Probably, you might actually see one. What's at the end? Can you please tell us? It's not gonna change our minds. We're going. What if we got totally shifted around and didn't actually get out of here? Oh, dude. I think they're falling up, man. Make sure you say some stuff every once in a while, Wyatt, because I don't want to look back and you'd be gone. True that. Yeah, talk a little bit. This is hard enough being in the back. <laughs> I feel like there's something right behind us. Help speak. Help speak. What the f You just said make sure you talk a little bit, Wyatt. Yeah. Wait, we already- Ghost box. Ghost box. We already just made our way out of here. Okay, keep your eyes peeled, guys. We're at the end. Fearful. Fearful. We're here. The two roads, the two paths. It's right in front of us. Where are you, Skinwalker? Do you hear that? Yeah. Dude, Wyatt, did you just talk? What is that? I don't know. Something trying to talk. Help me talk. Guys, they're right here. Hello? We hear you. Do you see that? Yeah. Dude, there's two eyes right there. Yeah, yeah. There's two eyes right there. I see them. Do you see them? I see them. <gasps> that just appeared out of nowhere. I was looking right there. Those were not there. Do you see them on your camera? I can. Is there a skinwalker out here? Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if these things interfere with our mics or anything. So we might hear nothing yes. but like... Yes. Is there a skinwalker here? Yes. Moving away. Moving away. Yes, it's moving away. I think we should go. Yeah. We have such a long walk, man. Haunt the land. Haunt the land! Whoa. You just said haunt the land. What haunts the land? Apparently there's a lot of creatures that do. A lot of spirits. So far nobody's told us what creature. Nobody's given us that sign, that answer. What is actually going the f on? Because there's not a lick of wind. I was just gonna say it legitimately stopped. Dude, maybe my theory was right. Like something. Did you guys hear that? Something didn't want us in there. I don't know if that's possible, but I mean, if it's a triangle, maybe they control whatever's inside. Leave. 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 It just said leave. Leave. 
They didn't want us in there. No, not even a little bit. It's just too weird, man. What the actual Okay, we're leaving. What should we do? Should we just kind of walk to the car now? I'd say we walk to the car and then see if we can get some more stuff and call it. Okay, let's get to the car. Okay, right now we have the drone up. It has thermal, so if there are any spirits around us or any type of movement of something that has warmth, if any spirits can hear me. We made it back to the car. We are here, right in front of the trail that we just walked down. If you are here, can you talk to us? Can you let us know that you are here and you understand what we're saying? Here we are. Here, here we, we are. are. It just said, here we are. Oh my God, dude. So you did follow us to the car. Can anybody please tell us what happened to us? What happened in the woods? Was somebody trying to push us out? Give us a sign, please. We are channeling all of our energy and giving it to you right now. Who? I'm next to you. Whoa. I'm next to you. In the car or out the car? Probably outside of the car. Whoa, I see something, something in here. You see that? Yeah. Something, it's gone, just disappeared. Wait, it's moving. If you are next to us, who is it? Who followed us? We just want to know what's going on here. The energy is rising. The energy is rising. That's weird because we're right underneath the power lines, bro. Yeah. Does that energy have something to do with the weird weather that kicked us out of the woods? Feel energy. What the f Whoa. You know what's weird? When you think about it, it said that they need power earlier when we were in the forest before the wind started kicking up. And then they directed us out here to the exit right under the main power lines. That's right and they're still buzzing and making so much noise because of how much electricity is pumping through them. Is that what you wanted? You wanted to be near all the power so that you could talk to us and hopefully show us what you look like and what you are? Turn it off. Turn it off? What? The Turn power? Oh. Negative. Then what is it? Not the power. Turn what off? It's probably because they don't want us to see it. They don't want us to capture it on camera. This is weird. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know, man. It's just like, as we left, we started getting a bunch of crazy <laughs> happening. Yeah. And it's like they wanted us out. Maybe they're happy that we're on the other side of this barrier now. It just doesn't make any sense. I feel like something was trying to protect us and then something- Not so. Not, Not so. so. Dude, there's something that we're missing here. Did you like when we were in the forest then? Shut down. Shut down. Turn it off. Shut down. That is weird. Good day. It just said good goodbye. Goodbye! What? Shut down. Goodbye. What Whoa. the f Did you just leave? Or is it somebody else who was just saying goodbye? What was it that followed us out? We know you came with us. You even told us that you were coming with us. So who or what exactly came with us? Reaching maximum altitude. I don't know! What? I don't know! You don't know what they are? We see you. Oh! Oh, dude, now I'm starting to chill up. Was there actually a skinwalker in the forest, or is there? Are they around us right now? Most likely. Most likely. Haunt land. Haunt, Haunt land. land. Whoa. What the f was is that? Did you hear that outside yeah. the car? Yeah. What the f was that? I don't know. I don't see anything. Yo, you know what we should do? We should set the REM pod right on the hood. Ooh. Like we did for f Diablo's Desert. Yeah. Flash the lights. What the f No way. Look on my screen, Ray. Shut it. Shut it. Shut it. You the just door. shut the door. What is that? What is what? Something's blinking out there. But we can't even see it. What is that? Wait a sec, what? Huh. Do you have an IR light in your pocket? Oh. The one that fell in the water. You might have to put that somewhere. It's starting to blink. What the? 
I think the REM pod's picking up a ton of energy from the power lines. But they saw it right away. They said flashing the lights or whatever. Right. And then they said closed mm -hmm. or shut. They're watching us. Something is watching us. Should we try and do an EVP? Ooh. Okay, I gotta stop this. I'm dead here. Okay, we are going to try to do an EVP and see if anything comes through that. That would be nice. This investigation has been very odd so far. Let's be honest. We go into the woods. The weather out of nowhere starts to go crazy. We get back to the car. The weather is completely fine. We walked an hour, maybe over an hour into Probably. the woods. We walked all the way back. There's no f way I'm gonna get out of the car now to go into the woods to have it get windy all over again for some weird reason. That's just our luck tonight. But we are here in the car and we're gonna do an EVP. And see how it goes. So let's do an EVP. Okay, if there are any spirits, if you can hear me, if you understand us, if you are tuned into our energy, I have this device here in my hand. I'm going to go ahead and set it down on this dashboard right here. We are going to ask a couple of questions. In between those questions, if you can, please answer as best as possible. Here we go. If anybody can hear me right now, we are trying to get one answer. We came a long ways just to get this answer to find out if it is true. There is a specific creature in the woods. What is it? Did you actually follow us back to our car? Can you answer that? Why did the weather get so weird on us all of the sudden? Let's see. definitely got something dude. It does sound like there's something on there. Yeah, that's weird. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna hold it. Let's do another one. We want to talk to a skinwalker. We've been trying to talk to a skinwalker. You have one last chance. Can you tell us that you are around us? When we were in the forest, were we in danger at any time? Will one of these creatures or these entities show themselves to us? There we go. I heard. Well, one of these creatures I heard somebody reply. Wait, did it say oh, I did? I don't know. They're almost. Do you hear the popping? Yeah. In there too. 
Like there's some kind of still some sort of weird energy going on. Exactly. Yeah. Weird it's energy a interference. Interference. Yeah. Yeah. That is very difficult to tell. Mm -hmm. Does seem like we're getting some answers, but I don't understand. I I'm so confused. What do you guys think? I think so far, like we've gotten like so much, it's hard to say what exactly it was that was talking to us, especially when we were in the woods. There's so many different things that people have theorized could be in there, whether it being a portal or anything like that for whatever to come out of that portal. I don't know. It just sucks that they have not told us what it is. We obviously went and looked to see if we could get some answers from what we've been told is a skinwalker or a puck wedgie, whatever it is, man. All I know is tonight has just been such a crazy roller coaster. Definitely abnormal. Like what happened to us in the woods was not. It's not normal at all. I, don't I mean, think it was natural. Like, yeah, it's it was wind and and it just dead stops. I don't yeah. know where the minute. Why we leave. when we go in, the wind starts going crazy? Dude, it was like we were in a hurricane. Yeah. Seriously. I don't know. Overall, I think we had a great investigation though, bro. Okay, guys, I think we are going to go ahead and call it. We have a flight early in the morning and we tried our best. I feel like we did get a good investigation. If you guys want us to come back, we would love to come back because there are so many mysteries here at Hockamock Swamp. We could actually film a whole series here. It's not what we're gonna do, but I would like to come back and try again. Hopefully there won't be a bunch of wind hitting us out of the blue. But if you guys would like us to come back, please hit the like button. Let's get this to, let's get this to 45,000 likes. I know you guys can do it. You guys like the Skinwalker videos and we have a bunch more coming. We have a lot of new devices that we had gotten just for the Skinwalker episodes. It's just at this time, for some reason, we keep dealing with weather. With all that being said, if you are new to the channel or if you just keep finding yourselves coming back and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a chance. We love you all and we will see you next Sunday. Peace.